Okay, hello and welcome to the standpoint. We keep saying that the youth are our future. The children are our future. We want a bright future for the youth. But do they have a bright future looking at the current situation in our country today? Today I have three graduates with me in the studio. They're going to share the experience. Three young girls just completed school, have big dreams, interesting ideas. What awaits them? What are their fears? What are their joys? What are their expectations? What are their dreams and aspirations? My name is Ohine Yuri Gifty, and to welcome to the standpoint, let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth as always. Ophelia Crossland Design Souls for me. Thank you to Power Cosmetics for the makeup product and makeup and more, always applying the makeup beautifully for us. My jewelry. I'm actually my beats today by Afio Creations. We take a break. When we come back after uni, what next? We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Standpoint. If you just joined us, we are going to discuss after you knew what next. And I have three young ladies with me in the studio who are going to tell us about their dreams, expectations, aspirations, and what they hope to achieve in the nearest future. Let me say thank you to GTP again to African Women's Development Fund, AWDF. They support African women's rights organizations across Africa. Woma Africa Limited, manufacturers of Frito, Frito cooking oil. You know, good old Frito never failed us. It's been with us for all these years, and we still live on it. And they also produce Fortune Rice. And Fortune Rice comes from the house of Frito. And with all that is going on on TV, people trying to damage it and, you know denigrated, claiming it's rubber or whatever, please rubbish it. It is not true. I can testify to it. And it's not because they sponsor us. I tell you that the standpoint for years we've been struggling because we are careful about the kind of advert we, we accept. The setting adverts and product will not accept because we'll not sit here and talk and promote women's rights and women's well-being whilst we accept things that we know will be harmful to women just for the sake of getting money. So please, fortune rice is not rubber rice. Fortune rice comes in three types. There's the green packaged one, which is very good for the stuffed dishes. That is omutuo and then rice water. There's the orange packaged one, very good for wache. And then the wine packaged one, very good for jollof rice. And, you know, fried rice. Don't miss it. And then goil. Yeah, yeah, dear. Homegrown. Everything authentic. If we want to see the Ghana we want, let's make sure we invest in Ghana. Goal. Goal. Good energy. They are our sponsors and we are very grateful to them. Now I have with me in the studio three beautiful young ladies. As I said to my extreme left, I have Suraya Ahmed. She's a graduate from the University of Professional Studies. Welcome to The Standpoint. Thank you very much. Next to her, I have Natalie N. Asiedu, graduate from the Ghana Institute of Journalism. Welcome, Thank Madam you. Journalist. Thank you. Next to Natalie, I have Mary Magdalene Bafo. I'm from Mary Magdalene. By the name, she's supposed to be holy. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> okay. Mary Magdalene Bafo Ishen. She's graduate from KNUST. Welcome to The Standpoint. Thank you. Let me start from Soraya. When did you complete? Um, this year. Well, um, last month. Natalie. May. May. Yes, and then Mary Magdalene. May. May. Yes. Please. Okay. How was it like school experience, uni experience? How did you enjoy the experience at uni? Uh, it was a beautiful experience. I mm -hmm. mean, tech is a place that's like a family. And like a family, sometimes you have good times, sometimes you have fights, sometimes you wish you belonged to another family <laughs> and all that. But Which hall were you? Africa Hall. Africa Hall, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful experience. We had tech is in such a way that they allow um, the, the lecturers to be parents to the students. So you have academic tutors who seek to your well-being. You have supervisors who are very open. 
the doors are always open for you. And it's, it's just a beautiful experience. Mm. It's, sad, it's sad to close that chapter of my life, but I believe that making them proud is when everything that they have invested in me, I go out there and I make them proud. Okay. So that's it. All right, Raya, what about you? It was fun. There were fun times. There were, as she said, you know, the, the ups and downs and all that. And I, I was homeschooling. Okay. So I didn't really have that fun, the social life in school. Okay. All I had was going for lectures and back home. So okay. by all in all, it was fun. And but I when, when you involved in school activities and stuff like that? Yeah, um, my... It wasn't that much. I, it wasn't. Mostly if I'm on campus, it's because of lectures. And after lectures, lectures, I'm going home. So I don't tell me that you passed through the school. The school didn't pass through you. I passed through the school. I passed. I had. I. I. I joined some. No, I wasn't really active, mostly because I wasn't. I wasn't allowed to be coming to school mm. often. So um, always time is on my side. Right. Okay. To just rush home. home. Yeah. So okay. joining activities wasn't something. Even though I was interested. Yeah, but, but you couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Natalie. Um, school was fun. Mm -hmm. It was it was okay because mm -hmm. GIJ is a small community. You are able to see each other, know each other, say the hellos and the highs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and school activities. I was I was part of it. I was mm -hmm. with the um, GJ GIJ chapter. Mm -hmm. um, I was a rep for the women's commissioner. Okay, and also other stuffs. Okay. I was I was committed, and it was okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you had graduation yet? Not, not, not yet. What about you, Mary Magdalene? Not yet. Okay, you, you haven't. Yeah. What would you miss about uni, Mary Magdalene? <laughs> my, my, a lot of things. Mm. Truly, a lot of things. The feel, the community. Tech is a wonderful place to grow, honestly, mm. and that's what I'll miss about KNUST. And from the porter to the labourer to the lecturer, everybody is open to you. Everybody is willing to help. And it's that feeling, that mm. feeling of belonging that I'm honestly going to miss. Mm. Of course, my lecturers always putting into you, always feeding you with the good things. Mm. Not only academic work, but teaching you about life, what to do and those things. It's a community I will miss in its entirety. entirety okay. What about you, Soraya? What oh. would you miss? class because that was where I had my school. Mm -hmm. It was all about going to class. I was mostly, I, I couldn't come early for class, mm -hmm. so I was mostly sitting at the back and I enjoyed sitting at the back. You're sitting so, at the so, back? Yes. <laughs> you know, you have the guys who are always making comments and fun and saying funny stuff mm -hmm. and all that. And my lecturers too, I had wonderful, I met really wonderful lecturers mm -hmm. who really encouraged me. So I miss my lecturers. Okay. Yeah. All right, Natalie was class and mm. mostly my colleagues. Mm. Yes, class in the sense that I was always in front, mm -hmm. never in the middle nor the back. I was punctual, mm. always on time, never missed a class. Also, my colleagues around me, our uh, 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 petty fights, mm -hmm. our, crowd, <laughs> our crowds and the um, um, steady environment, coming together, try to solve this, solve that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the lecturers too, mm -hmm. what they normally impact into us, not only teaching, but mm -hmm. telling you what to do mm -hmm. and what not to do and what to, um, how to prepare yourself for the afterlife. Okay, yes, okay. After school. What well, was you in school, did you ever have the opportunity or did you have the experience of worrying about what will happen next after school? Yes. You did? Yes. You thought about what will happen next? Yes. And it's still haunting me till now. Okay, we'll get to that, Raya. Okay. Did you? Yes, definitely. You know, with the whole unemployment situation, you get scared. You're like, mm. okay, will I get a job? How will I survive after school? You, you keep thinking about it. It's something that always you keep thinking about. Yeah. Mary Magdalene. Honestly, no. <laughs> no. Mm. Just like me. Because when I was in school, I, I, I nothing. <laughs> No. I, the, I mean, the world outside school never even crossed my mind. Not at all. I'm sorry, but no. 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 You, just, you were just enjoying the school. No, not enjoying it, but then I'm confident about the future, so it's not something that I worry mm. myself in thinking about because 
I believe in stages, processes, okay. and conquering every stage. And I have completed this one successfully. And I know that I will do the same for the next one. It's not something that I, I sit really to think about, no. No. Okay, let me take a break. When we come back, we'll get into after uni now. What is their biggest fear? Let me say thank you to our supporters, Matamates who give us support, the Gogot Yogot. I always tell you, Yogot is very good for women. So if you want Yogot, just go for Gogot Yogot. Thank you to Yep Cleaning Services. Thank you to House of Foods, Auntie Vera. Thank you so much, especially around these times. You take good care of me. Thank you. And then the crew, we are very grateful to Cake Techniques. Thank you. We take a break. When we come back, we'll continue. But remember, this program is also aired on ABN TV, which is across Western Europe, parts of Canada, Asia, and North Africa. Our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh, is powered by Dream Oval. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Standpoint. Again, I say thank you to GTP for my cloth. Ophelia Cross and Design sews for me. And Papa Cosmetics gives us the makeup product applied by makeup and more. Thank you to Afio Creations for my accessories, my beads today. Now, Shreya, what is your biggest fear now that you've left school? Or your worry? Let me not say your fear, worry. Because you're now going to do national service. Yeah, my worry is um, where, I want, where I want to work. That's the business environment. Maybe mm. being a Muslim lady with my view, I'm going to find it difficult to get a job that would be willing to accept me as a Muslim lady. I think that's, that's my biggest fear. That's your biggest yeah, fear? That's my biggest fear. Why? Like, not really, I'm mm. not seeing the view as, you know, as a successful person, no matter what, you're going to face obstacles. And definitely, I don't see my hijab to be an obstacle. Mm. But maybe looking at the time frame and all your goals, maybe mm. in five years' time, you want to be this. So maybe when, you, when those jobs delay and you're mm. not able to get. But anyway, I think um, Allah knows best, so you just yes. be But ha do you know of other Muslim ladies who are having challenges because of their appearance? Yes, I have heard a few stories. I haven't met anybody personally. And during my internship too, I didn't really have any trouble with that. Mm -hmm. But I've heard stories of mm -hmm. people being rejected because of their hijab. They mm -hmm. either offer you an option, either you take it off or you just, you, you, mm -hmm. they can't offer but you. But you know that's job. a reality, that you are going to yes, face that. Yes, definitely, definitely. You are going to, that's a reality. Yes, and I'll keep knocking at all doors, whichever hope is for me, I'll just go do my best. Okay, what kind of upbringing did you get? My upbringing, you know, um, my parents, especially my dad, he wasn't really strict. Mm -hmm. He allowed us to be ourselves and to find ourselves. And um, growing up, I, I think from stages to stages, there were times I was shy to even come out seen in a hijab. But now I do that. So my parents always encourage you, no matter what part you want to take, nobody forces you to do this or do that. Whatever part you choose so far as is a good one, mm. they are going to support you. Okay, so do you think your parents would have been okay if you didn't wear the hijab? Definitely. No, hijab as in this way, but they would have preferred at least I should cover oh, my head. head. Yeah. Not to leave it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Natalie, now you've left school. Very active in school. Taking part in everything, going and coming. You don't worry much. <coughs> Daddy or mommy will give you money for transport. Now... The reality hit home. Um, my worry is actually the particular place I'll be having my national service. Mm. On the other side, I don't worry much. Mm -hmm. But my worry is focused on the people around me. Everybody being like, why are you going to have your national service? Do you know where you are going to do it? Hey, do you know the place you, are go you, are, you will get mm, the environment? Or, but I go like, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Wherever I get, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. To just impact my knowledge, whatever I've been taught in school, mm -hmm. wherever I'll be, where, where I'll be put, mm -hmm. I'll impact and just do what I'm supposed to so do. So for you, your worry now is national service. Not so much, you know, after national service employment. I wasn't, when I was in school, I wasn't thinking about that, actually. I'm like... When I'm done, any door that is going to open for me, I'm fine. Whatever God, the plan God has for me is mm. up to him. I'm mm. good to go with anything. 
Mm. Yes. But what, 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 what's your aim in life? What, what do you hope to be in future? I want to be a, a, a broadcast journalist. A broadcast yes. journalist. So you have limited yourself to broadcasting. That's either TV or radio. Yes. Okay. Mary Magdalene. My worry has nothing to do with national service. My worry, honestly, is not being able to live. Really? Your, your worry is not national service? No, no, You no, don't no. mind wherever they take you? Not at all. Really? Honestly. Okay. My worry has to do with not being able to do everything that has, God has placed on my heart to do for, mm. for my country and for the world, honestly. I am passionate about solutions. When there's a problem, I think I became this way because I was always in getting into trouble <laughs> with my, my parents. So every trouble, I have to find a way to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And so I love problems. And my mind is always, what do we do? What can I do? What must be done about this thing, this, that thing? So my only fear is dying and not being able to live, every, live out the life I was called to live. That's honestly my, my fear. What? Your worry at this time is yes. dying and not achieving your dream. Yes. So the journey, the process to get to your dream is not your worry. No. I, I love process. Okay. It's not, I, it doesn't mean it's always fun. It doesn't mean, I mean, tech was another thing on its own. It doesn't mean every, all the years were rosy. Even mm. my project was another thing. But I believe in process. I believe that good or bad, it has a way of shaping me and making me who I am. I mean, I've gone through some things in my past, even on Kenya University campus, mm -hmm. and I am now here. Mm -hmm. So what happens? It means that I have turned out better than I, I went in. Mm -hmm. So I believe that come what me, good times, bad times, I will still mm -hmm. go through. But then the only fear is dying and not being able to live the life I was called to live. What, what, what are your dreams? I have quite a, a, a number of them. Okay. I'm trying, I have dreams for energy recovery. I have waste management prob um, problems I want to solve, problems relating to women in academia, the issue of um, pregnancy in school, because I, I, I was privileged to meet a number of pregnant students and the fear of how do I still keep this baby and continue with academics. So because, or how do I still keep this baby and be able to go for lectures how do I stay on campus? Where will I live? Those things. So I have dreams of solving that particular problem because you realize that those people who could, could not even keep their baby because of proximity issues and all that, they end up aborting. What, what, can, what course did you... I read in? Natural Resource Management. Natural, natural Resource, resource management. management. And Natural Resource Management to direct you to what path? Well, we dealt with the renewable resources. So we are talking about um, our forestry. We are talking about uh, um, marine life. Mm -hmm. um, I specialize in wood science and technology. So mm -hmm. how, what we can do with wood extractives mm -hmm. and the like. They call us the carpenters, but anyway, mm -hmm. we like it. <laughs> and then we have the agroforesters who incorporate agriculture and forestry. So, mm -hmm. But it seems like you want to deviate from that. Not exactly. Because, why? Because... Um, everything we do has a way of inf affecting our resources. Mm. And it's not just about taking a, um, a white collar job and sitting at maybe a forestry commission and then trying mm. to do my best. But then I believe that the better impact is taking things from the sources. Mm. How do we help people to live better lives so that they their actions do not have an influence on the environment in mm. which we live in? So someone may say, yes, you are deviating, but then I'm taking the problem from another angle, which mm. I believe will have a positive mm. impact on mm. the nation. Natalie, what's your five-year plan? Um, as I said earlier, to be a broadcast journalist, mm. and also I love humanitarian work. Yes, in school I was with the KTK Ghana. Yeah. yeah, we go out to villages to donate, and yeah, I also like to be a... Um, it so what do you hope to achieve in the next five years? Um, to be... Um, <laughs> what I hope to achieve in the next five years? Yeah, to be, to be a great broadcast journalist. Mm. Yeah. And what does it take to be a great broadcast journalist? Oh, going through the right processes. Mm. As, as I now I'm having my internship at Graphic. I mm. was doing that earlier when I was in school. Mm. Yeah, so after that, just hope for the best. 
I said, I do hope for the best. Yes. National service, do you worry about where you'll be posted? As I said earlier, I wasn't worrying that much until everybody around saying that any fan of a call where you're going, aren't you not scared and all that? But mm. I don't worry much. I'm because you know that it's not automatic that you'll be taken yes. to a media house. Yes, yes. Mm. Anywhere I get, I'm okay. You're okay? Yes. Soraya, you worry about where you'll be posted? For not that at all. You know, I'm in the process of discovering more of myself. Mm. So wherever I go, I think it's an opportunity to know. Maybe I'll find certain interests that I didn't know I, I mm. even had. So it's an opportunity it to... It seems like you love to leave home, right? Home. For a while. <laughs> I fear leaving home. I fear leaving my family. I don't, I don't know. I've never... Because I was homeschooling. I'm not used to leaving home. I, mm. I wish I would get a place where I'll be home and be going every single day. And how are you going to cope if they post you to Edumasa, my village? <laughs> it's a learning process. Mm. It's going to be hard, but I'll overcome it. Sure, overcome it. You are mentally prepared for that? Mentally, yes. I'm mentally because... I want to discover more. I don't, I'm not a person who likes to be in one thing all the time. I mm. want to be doing this. Doing that's my internship like this. I did it in the renewable energy firm, so I learned a lot about renewable energy, and I do a lot of community work because in school I don't get to do the extra, so I do a mm. lot of community work. So yeah, I like to do a lot of different mm. things, diverse, which is fun. Yeah. What course did you do at? IP? I studied banking and finance. Banking and finance. Yeah. So are you looking at going to work in the banking environment? Not really. If I get to work in a banking environment, that's fine. But if I don't get to work in a, a banking environment, wherever I get to do, mm. I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm a quick learner. So mm. I'll, I'm, I know I'll learn fast mm. and I'll be able to do whatever they You know, I understand <clears throat> all three of you, your humble, your humility of anywhere I get, I'll put myself, I'll do it to it. But I also worry about you not being able to say specifically or determine that this is what I want to do. So that even if you take a detour, you know that this is where I want to go. So in the long run, I'll come here. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't, hmm. I'm a very diverse person, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't have, today I want to do this, tomorrow I want to do that, today, tomorrow I want to own my own bakery, tomorrow, uh, the next day I want to own a boutique. I'm just everywhere. But at the end of the day, I want to be successful in everything. So you think you'll find your feet? Yeah, I think I'll find my feet somehow. somehow. Natalie? Same. But I, I didn't want to go into that it's, um, having my internship at Graphic. I wanted to be on TV, radio. But when I was growing up, my dad used to um, Listen to Komla, the late Komla Dumo. Dumo yeah. Yes, and I loved him. I loved to listen to him. I loved Emma Morrison too. And I, I, I love you too, actually. Because I, I spoke to you one time on radio when we were about starting the Star Woman project. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. And that was when my love started growing that big. So I think wherever I get, I'm okay. I'm okay mm. with that. Yes. Because... I, when I started broadcasting, right, my dream was to have a media house in future. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew that no matter what, when I leave GBC, I'm going to work for myself and have a media house. So it took me 17 years at GBC before I had the courage to leave. But before then, I was preparing towards having a media house. It's not, I don't have the biggest production house, but I have my production house now that I'm working with. So you, you get a picture that yes. I'm trying to paint that I expect you to, maybe you're not there yet, but to have something specific that you want to do. Out of the production house that I have now, of course, I have the show, The Standpoint. I have two charities, the Wood Dance for Reading Project. I have the Girl in Need Foundation. I have other programs that I want to produce come up. So different things coming out of it. But you need to focus on something specific that you want to do and want to achieve. But anyway, I'm sure you'll get there. You're just fresh out of school. Now you're enjoying. So it's cool. It's cool like that. <laughs> so enjoy as you go along. I'm sure, as you said, you rediscover yourself and you know what exactly you want to do. While you're watching The Standpoint, we are sponsored by Girl Good Energy. I'm Hine Pankasa, homegrown 
oil, Ghana oil. Woma Africa House of Frito, they produce Frito cooking oil and Fortune Rice. Fortune Rice comes in three types. The green packaged one is good for the soft dishes, omutuo and rice water. The orange one is good for wati. And then the wine packaged one is good for jollof rice and fried rice. We are also sponsored by NS Chemist. They produce Auntie Mary's Baby Gripe Mixture and Nescoffa Black Tonic. Tinnated Herba produce Tinnated Venica and Tomake. We are also sponsored by African Women Development Fund, AWDF, supporting African women's rights organizations across Africa. We take a break when we come back. The big question. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Standpoint. Um, again, I say thank you to Yep Cleaning Services, Matamis for giving us support, House of Food and Cake Techniques for all the support. We are so grateful to them. Mary Magdalene. Yes, ma'am. Have you thought about marriage? <laughs> <laughs> I like that laughter. <laughs> yes, 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 I have. Mm -hmm. mm. I will marry when? <laughs> well, I will marry. Definitely. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. But when? What's your plan for that? When do you hope to get married? Honestly, I haven't thought of the, the time for that. Mm -hmm. But then I want to be doing something before mm -hmm. I, I get. I want to be established as a woman first before mm -hmm. I allow him to and come in. How do you get established as a woman? Well, being established as a woman, I mean that being able to find contentment with myself, mm -hmm. find contentment with myself, I am running with the vision God has given me. And then perhaps if I meet a man whose purpose is similar to mine, then I can serve him, then why not? If you meet a man? When he meets me and then I check in, our purposes When much. he meets you? Yes. So are you saying that the one there right now is not the one? The one... The, the one is still not, he's in limbo. <laughs> he hasn't come yet, so. Natalie, what about you? Thought about marriage? Yes. When do you want to get married? Not now, cry. Hey, Nyabutre, what do you mean by not now, cry? How old are you now? <clears throat> Listen, I'm 47 years. How old oh are you now? Oh, my God, I'm 22. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why women are always uncomfortable to mention their age. <laughs> eh? I'll be 48 next January. Okay. And in two and a half years, I'll be 50 years. Wow. I can't wait to be 50. Gifty at 50. Okay, so 22 years. When, when, when is there not now, Kra? Oh, after achieving what I want to achieve, um, get a foundation mm -hmm. for myself. Mm. I like to get the foundation yeah. for yourself yeah. with the power and vim. Yes. What kind of foundation are you talking about? Mm. Um... um a girl child foundation not only girl child but across mm -hmm. everywhere um as for in I, young people yes okay. for the youth and mm -hmm. yeah and the needy too mm -hmm. yeah also my broadcast in the process being a journalist doing all those stuff yeah mm -hmm. so what if along the line the unexpected happened it's taking you forever before you set up the foundation it's taking you a long time because it's not easy to just get up and set up a foundation. Sometimes you think that you after school you're going to get a job, but it may take you two or three years before you get a job and all that. All those things are delayed. Are you saying all that you're going to wait till you get a job if it takes you three, four years before you do this thing, before you get married? No, 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 no not at all. Whether um, when, the need, when the need arises for me to... Now I'm 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 giving up. I'll get married because I know that definitely when I, whether I'm married or not, I'll I'll I'll, I'll achieve my goal. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so anything that comes, I'm okay with that. You you don't think marriage can be a stumbling block to you? Actually, when I was growing, I told my dad I wouldn't get married. You. I didn't want to get married. Why? Because of certain things I saw with other people, women and all that, the more treating, the more treatment and all that. So I told my dad I wanted to be a nun. Yes. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Yeah. 
But along the line, some you must you met some fine boy oh. who changed your mind. Oh. I've, I've I've met yeah met yeah. friends. Yeah. Mm, okay. I like to be with male friends actually too. Okay. Yeah, and a bit of the ladies. Yeah. Shreya. Uh, before I hit twenty five. Before you hit, you would like to marry before you hit twenty five. Yes. How old are you now? I'm twenty one. Twenty one. So you have you there you have four years limit. Four years limit. Why? Um, I don't think marriage yeah, I don't think marriage should stop me from doing whatever I want to do. I don't think it's it's a blockage to whatever you want to do. Marriage is very important. You know, the the reason why marriage, like we are encouraged to marry young, is to avoid immoralities and all that. So, yes, I want to get married. When you say we are encouraged to marry, you mean your religion? Yes. As a Muslim yes, young yes. lady? Yes. Okay, so if by the age of 25, the man of your choice hasn't come, what do you do? I'll still live my life till he comes. Mm. Do you worry about becoming a second or third wife or fourth wife? Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't mind being the first and having second and third, but mm. I worry about being the second and third and fourth. You want to be the main one, yeah, the first I want one. To be the one. The, the number one. The number one. Bakupe. <laughs> you don't want others <laughs> following you. Yeah. No, I don't want to follow others. You don't want to follow others. Yes, but, but I want to be the first. The one. first. Yeah, okay. you can go. As, so far as I'm the number one. No problem. What if it becomes necessary that you have to be number two or number three? I don't even like the look on your face. That was, we'll pray that you'll be number one. Let's leave it there. But Natalie, how important is marriage to you? And having a family and children and all that? Very beautiful. Yeah. It's important. Me being a lady, taking care of my own kids, mm. being with my husband. So I'm going to marriage for stability. Others too for pleasure, others too for um, um, the influence, both from the lady and the man. What would you go in for? For everything. Everything? Everything. Not only pleasure, but everything in the influence we both have on each other. Mm -hmm. um, the serene environment we will be in with our kids okay. and the family members. Okay. Yes. My Magdalene, what about you? How important is marriage to you? Marriage and having a family. Marriage is very important to me, actually. I believe that um, two can put together, two put together can put to flight at ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Although one can put together, um, can put a thousand to flight. That being said, marriage to me is about purpose. Honestly, what I tell my friends, those who dare to ask me, is mm -hmm. first, I am a child of God. Mm -hmm. And so the family business is very important to me. The family business being so winning and transforming people with the word of God. So for me, if I'm looking for a man to marry, I'm looking at somebody who also shares in this same purpose, mm -hmm. who has a desire to put to the work of God first, the family business, how, that's how mm -hmm. I call it. No, but and let's then, go back. You said married to you is... Purpose. Purpose. What, what do you mean by that? I believe it's purpose because... Sometimes it's not, it's not about just giving birth, raising a family and everything. I believe that as children of God, we are all called for a particular purpose. And so if I marry Magdalene, my purpose is preaching the word of God, let's say, and serving humanity through problem solving and all those things. That is my purpose, the purpose mm -hmm. my father has given, which I am living. And so when I'm marrying someone, I'm not marrying someone just because I feel like I'm get, I've gotten to that age where I ought to marry. But then I'm marrying somebody because that person also shares in that purpose. Okay. And so when we are coming together, we are doing more than I would have done originally if I was doing it alone. Mm -hmm. And so that's what marriage means to me. Marriage is a partnership for greater things, mm -hmm. to do better things. Okay. Yes. Natalie, in conclusion, what kind of Ghana would you want to live in, in the next five years? A more peaceful Ghana, a stable Ghana, without lynching and mobbing of mm. innocent people. Yes. Mm. A, 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 a sweet Ghana. A sweet yes. Ghana. Yeah. Within five years? Yeah. Okay. Shreya, what's that one thing you want to achieve within five years. You hope that within five years I'd have achieved this one. To own my own business. 
to own your own business. Yes, to mm. to be married with family, mm. to have owning my own business or having a stable job, mm -hmm. a okay. good paying job. That, okay. Yeah. Mary Magdalene. What do I want to Ghana? One thing, no, in the next five years, the one thing that you want to achieve. Transforming the minds of young women. Mm. I, start, I started something like that when I was in school, in my final year. I, I am a slop son. I went to St. Louis Senior High School, and I was privileged to be given an opportunity to speak to a group of girls who meet on Sundays and Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how much you can impart into young ones at this age. So if, there's, if I won't be able to do anything in the next five years, this is something that I want to be stable in, mm. transforming the minds of young girls. Because okay. there's a lot we can do, actually. And there's a lot we can become. So mm. in the five years, I should be stable with that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I wish you all the best of luck. And hopefully, inshallah, in the next five years, you may meet on the standpoint again to talk about what you've been able to achieve. I pray and hope that you live your dream and you stay true to your dream. We take a break. When we come back, I'll give you a bit of me. It's beautiful to be young. It's beautiful to dream. Someone said, no one will arrest you when you dream and you dream big. So it's very important to dream and have big dreams. But it's also very, very important to stay focused to your dream. To understand that your dream may take some time. To also understand that to achieve your goals and aspirations in life, it's a whole journey. It's a process. It's not an event. It may take longer than you anticipate. Sometimes it may take even shorter than you anticipate. But it's all in God's hands. The most important thing is to work towards it. To stay true to yourself and true to the cause. To believe in God, pray about it, and start working on it with all the passion, all the, all, all the love, all the interest, all the sacrifice that you can. Life is not a straight path. It's a wave. And you need to know how to ride a wave. There are ups, there are downs, and there are rough patches, and there are very smooth sailing aspects of it. But through it all, believe in yourself. Believe in who you are. Believe in the dream that you have. Unfortunately, the youth of today don't have much time to mess around. Thanks to social media, thanks to technology. So most young people are confused, very confused. But stay true to your cause. Believe in yourself. Know what you want and work towards it. If along the line your cause changes, that's fine. And also learn to knock on different doors. When the door you've been knocking on for so many years is not opening, that door, the next door or the next window may lead you to that door. Keep believing in yourself. Keep dreaming big. And stay true to yourself. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.